Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're going to be talking of VeChain. Uh, we've seen the price action moving up quite nicely, uh, pretty much uh, to our expectations from about a week or so ago. We got a little bit uh, king, I get concerned in the middle, didn't think we we're going to push up at one point, um, but we kind of just, uh, we're kind of reaching into those highs. So let's go ahead and reflect on what's going on with VeChain's price action and all that good stuff. As I get into the video, if you find it useful and informative, smash the like button i do appreciate that if you are new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe tap the bell select all the notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with everything that we do here at cheeky crypto and if you haven't yet joined us in discord check it out guys link is in the description down below it's a fantastic community talking crypto 24 7 and i don't think you'll be disappointed by what you find down there so why not go ahead and check it out let's jump right into this video and take a look at what's going on then with v chains vet token so here we have v chain uh, paired up with usdt uh, we're actually using the mix contract from BitGet um, and we're on the one hour time frame. Uh, as you can kind of see, we've been a pretty aggressive move to the upside here. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of show you what that looks like. Um, so down from our lows of 1.434 up to the highs just up here at 1.977, a 37.87% move. Uh, obviously this is a contract, which means you'd basically use leverage on that. Um, and so very, very, very significant gains could have been seen. I know that uh, some of the members in our discord server and our patreon members were trading this one to the upside as well which is fantastic to see now obviously on the move to the upside we've left some fair value gaps behind and so like everything what goes up must come down eventually okay so it's great that we've kind of moved up um, we kind of hit the lower end of the expectations i said between 2 and 2.5 cent was kind of where my mind was at and um, we still do have the ability to push up a little bit more but i'll be really cautious at this point here um, from a structure point of view I would say that it's uh, it's not looking like we have um, a five wave structure as such. Uh, we kind of want to kind of look at this thing, maybe like a wave one, two, kind of three, four and five. We want to do that, um, but the structures aren't quite where they would need to be for that to kind of be the case. So I'm not looking at this as an impulsive structure and anything. I'm probably looking at this more uh, as a triple zigzag pattern, W, X, Y, X and Z, if we do end up getting that slight push up higher. Um, so from a, an Elliott wave point of view. But before we do that, I want to just review uh, these fair values value gaps uh, on this one hour time frame and uh, so for that we're going to jump on over into BitGet we'll come to trade we'll go to uh, USDTM futures uh, because it is a contract that we're reviewing this on and uh, if we come over here and type in VET uh, we should find VeChain USDT pair I'll load that up so here we go Okay, so as we can kind of see, we had this move here, and this is the one that's uh, of interest, really. We have that move here, here, and then here, but we're going to talk about that in a second. The first thing we want to do is we want to talk about these fair value gaps and uh, that were created. Uh, they're created from imbalances in the order books, so let's go ahead and draw a couple of them on here. Okay, basically these gaps that get created just here, in fact, I'm just going to change that color uh, back to purple. Um, so these gaps are created when there's an imbalance in the order books, right? If there's too many um, buy orders or sell orders in one particular range and uh, there's not enough of the opposite. So let's say there was too much buying pressure at this low end here at 1.655 and there wasn't enough selling pressure to meet those requirements, price is going to move to where the sellers are, right? So large buy order comes in, price moves to find sellers, and it leaves behind these gaps. So that imbalance in the order book creates a gap in the price, and price wants to go back down and fill the gap out. Okay, it doesn't always happen, but for the most part, it tends to want to do so. As you can kind of see, there's a gap that was left over here, and we come back and we fill it in, right? We can see that right in here. We can also see that there was a gap that was left behind right here, and we came back and we filled it in, okay? So we tend have a tendency to fill those gaps as they appear. Sometimes you get them left behind for quite a period of time, and there's quite a few of them being stacked up here on the way up, um, but for the most part, we tend to think that price is likely to come back down and fill those gaps out, okay? Um, so although we can continue to push up, uh, essentially we have to be aware that price will eventually move on down to fill those gaps out okay so if you haven't yet checked out BitGet, affiliate link is in the description below like i said many times it is my go-to platform i do all of my leverage based trading on BitGet, um, and i do about 90 to 95 percent of my spot trading on BitGet as well um, new tokens are always being listed as well so if you haven't already checked it out and you're in the, the market for a new exchange why not check out BitGet? affiliate link is in the description down below let's jump back over into the charts so um, for VeChain here, obviously if I zoom out, we kind of want to look at this as a potential diagonal 
correction down and then this kind of big move to the upside being a way three now this is a possibility but uh, let's go ahead and just uh, do some sense checks right it's important that we do sense check these things um, and we can see that we are not yet at the 1.618 that comes in at uh, 2.065 right uh, approximately and I'm just going to make sure I check this and get it on the nose if I can so our low is 1.434 so I'm just ever so slightly out just knock that down one uh, and therefore we can see it's actually at 2064 okay now if this is a fourth wave movement to the downside and we're looking for this final move up uh, on that fifth wave expectation can that fifth wave expectation meet our 1.618 target and the answer is yes yes it can okay and we can see it comes into this range here between 2.027 and 2.111 okay now for this to kind of work and play out we'd have to see the structure play out like this uh, up here would be our wave one wave two all of this would have to be a way three this would be a way four and up here into way five like i said i don't like the internal workings of this and um, but if this does play out and we do hit this level we can then start reviewing this as a wave one down here for a wave two this is a wave three we come down for corrections into wave four and then we go up into a final fifth wave movement and then for that's our reversal pattern meaning that we have a high probability of our bottom being in for v chain down at these lows okay high probability but not a guarantee okay if this doesn't play out then we can come down into those new lower lows very very easily okay so good movements have been had and um, but there's still some work to be had here for v chain <laughs> apologize for the, the sneeze so all in all v chain is in an interesting structure yet to be confirmed as a big impulsive movement to the upside um, but some pretty decent work has been has been laid here okay so let's go ahead and review what this might look like on the larger time frames because this is just the one hour time frame right so it's going to go ahead and remove all of that off of there and bring it up into our um daily time frame now obviously for bit get on the daily we do not have a huge amount of information so what we're going to do is we're going to jump on over into our binance data for our daily analysis and as you can kind of see we have got our c wave expectations coming down into this low box uh, between 1.231 and 1.484 uh, we obviously had a lot of the buy zones uh being triggered for our members down in our discord server um, so a lot of people were able to take advantage of vchain being in the accumulation zone and as i say it's still possible that we come down even deeper uh, at some point we do see uh, price ranging here at between the um eighth of a cent through to uh one tenth of a cent or one cent essentially somewhere down that lows so for the most part this is looking really interesting for a good move upwards uh, although this has been pretty decent we have to kind of acknowledge it isn't overly impressive on our daily chart if we zoom out of this we can really see that it's just a small move at the moment but this could be the trend reversal pattern that we're looking for meaning that our buy zones uh, and accumulation zones might change a little bit uh, meaning no new lower low but still coming back down to retest the areas of consolidation around the 1.5 cent for example right around here uh, could be a real interesting point for accumulation specifically if on this daily chart we are starting that reversal pattern we will be looking at a potential pattern here that goes up into that say that 1.1 uh, sorry 2.1 cent range coming back down into the areas of consolidation for wave two before we move up and then we can really start to see this thing flying out of here and again all of that there would potentially get mapped inside a big wave one coming back down into the accumulation zone again uh, before moving right up and then we start to really leave the space at that point okay and um, so we're talking quite a distance out that's not something that's going to happen immediately and um, you're talking months away from those kind of things um, but the importance of these little structures that are appearing here gives us hope that we might be starting to see uh, a way forward for vchain's price action out of the bear market lows of course if bitcoin does go down into new lower lows i suspect that uh, vchain would lose its structure and also move uh, into new lower lows as well which again would put us into some new low uh, accumulation zones which would be fantastic for building fantastic positions ahead of the next bullish market i think i'm going to leave this video right there though guys if you have found it useful smash the like button if you're new subscribe if you haven't uh, yet joined us in discord you're missing a trick check it out link is in the description below and if you happen to be looking for a new exchange why not check out BitGet? Affiliate link is in the description below. Until the next one, though, guys, have a fantastic day. We are not financial advisors. None of what we have communicated early or in writing here should be considered as financial advice. It is not. Do your own research before investing in any digital asset or affiliate offers and understand that investing in any crypto is risky. If you do, you need to be prepared to risk your entire investment. This video is for information and entertainment purposes only. All other videos are strictly personal opinions. Please make sure you do your own research and never take our opinions for financial advice. There are multiple strategies and not all strategies fit for people. Our videos are not financial advice.